<laughs> Maybe one's going to be also. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us uh, today again. Uh, my name is Dr. G. <laughs> Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Dr. G and I'm with High Touch High Tech of Maine. And joining me again today are Lightning Liam. Lightning Liam and What's your oh, name? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> What's your name? I, my name. Um, I think it was Electric E, but no, it wasn't. No. Elevator. Yeah, I changed it. Well, environmental E. No, no, no. It was experiment E. Oh, experiment E. Okay, changing his name every day. And you may see in the background uh, our dog <laughs> Libby, who really wants to be uh, to be a scientist. <laughs> She's there. Okay, so today we're going to have some fun constructing a honeycomb. What is a honeycomb and who is living there? Do you have an idea who lives in a honeycomb? Libby, do you live in a honeycomb? No. No? Okay, you do live in a corner for whatever reason. Yes, Eli, who lives in a honeycomb? Bees. Yeah, bees live in a honeycomb and uh, what else do we know about bees? What kind of, fa which family of animals do they belong to? Which family of animals do they belong to, Eli? Any? Wait, oh, do you mean like, um, like, so not... Are they reptiles? Are they mammals? Are they, what are they? Um, birds. Are, are they birds? No. <laughs> no? Uh, are, yeah, no, you know, what do they have, remember, what we, we talked about them? Insects. Insects. Friends, we call them bugs, but they're actually insects. insects, right? And do you remember what are the characteristics of insects? Just really fast, yes? Six legs. Six legs. How many body parts? How many body Three. parts? Three. Three body parts, very good. Um, so these are some of the characteristics of insects, and uh, these are types of inse insects. Do you remember what is the important of the importance of bees? We talked about it again several weeks ago with another program. There's something very important that bees are doing. Do you know what it is? What is it that is so important for us and bees are doing? Yes. Pollinating. Pollinating. Very good. Let's say together pollination. Pollination. Yes. Bees are pollinating. What does it mean, pollination or pollinating? What do they do? Um, it means like they can, so they kind of like communicate with the flowers and they can left their um pollen. They bring the pollen from where to where? From the from flower to flower like pollen. Very good. From one flower to another, from part of the uh from the male part to the female part, and that's how what happens? It's new seeds grow, right? That's how we get a lot of our yummy produce. So next time you're eating a watermelon. Thanks to the bees. Don't forget, it's thanks to them that we have a lot of our products. Um, so bees are pollinating. They're also, did you know how they're pollinating? I know it's not the con what we're going to talk about today, but it's very important. Flying. Flying, right? And the pollen is sticking to their to their body parts, and then when they fly around, what do they do? Um, spread. spread it all over. Very good. So today we are going to look at another aspect of the bee life, and that's their shelter, right? Their natural uh, place where they live, right? So looking at this picture, what can you tell? How does it look like? Uh, honey. It looks like honey. <laughs> what, 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 is, what, what is the shape behind? It's okay. Nice. Hexagon, very good. So if you're looking really closely at this picture, oops, let's try to make it straight, yeah. You can tell that it's actually made of hexagon. What is hexagon? 
Um, it's a six-sided shape. Very good. Six-sided shape. And we are going to make our own honeycomb. So for this experiment, we'll need very few things. We will need the uh, piece of paper that was attached to the experiment with the strips on it. Okay, the stripes on it. So um, what we did, we pre-cut. But if you didn't pre-cut it, go ahead and grab scissors. And we are going to pre-cut our stripes of paper, right? Okay. So once this is ready, you can take a moment and decorate it. You can use crayons, you can use markers, you can use whatever you like to decorate with. So go ahead and take a moment to decorate because once it's in a three-dimensional shape, it will be harder to decorate. So decorate ahead of time. <coughs> Excuse me. And I just an afterthought, and you can repeat it later, you may want to decorate it, the entire page as a whole and then kind of cut it and see how those different pieces are coming together in this three-dimensional in this three-dimensional um, structure so whether you did it ahead of time just then decorate the straps of paper uh, if not decorate the whole paper and then cut it you can do it either way so Liam is producing some type of Game on it, and each shape, each uh, square will have a question or something about B trivia. That's a cool idea. Anything that comes to mind, draw, ask a question, write a fact about bees, see what you know about bees. They're really cool. They're pollinating, right? They're insects. They live in a honeycomb. Try to find some things that you can add about them. By the way, do they live by themselves or do they live in large groups? Is another image. Do they live by themselves or do they live in groups? Yeah. Any idea here? In groups, right. Very good. They live in groups in a hive. What do you think they, they live in groups? Any thoughts about why certain animals live in groups and other live by themselves? What does it help them to do in a group? Why did they evolve to live in a group? Yeah. Well, this is one thing about the bees. That, so the queen of all of the bees is mostly the one who lays off the babies. Okay. So there are many reasons why animals evolve to live in groups. But the main reason and the bottom line for all of them is that that's how they survive in nature. So that allows them to function and get the food and take care of the babies and all those different things that they need to do while they are in a group. If each one of them individually will try to survive in nature, it will be much harder for them. So it's very interesting insight into how different animals, different species live and why they live the way uh, they are. So it, it's really interesting to look at the world around us and try to figure out what, why it's so helpful for them to live in this case in such a big group, right? Because as Eli said, each one of them has different, different role and that's how together they make sure that as a team that they make it all work. So that's a, an interesting insight into different animal species. Do you live in a group? Yes. Yeah. yeah. What kind of group do you live in? A family. Yeah. Oh, well, we live in a family. We live within our family, but we also have extended groups, right? Do you all have extended groups that you function in? Yeah. Can you think about some extended groups? School. School, very good. Now, other extended groups? Uh, Maybe some things that you're doing with other friends. Can you think about some? Maybe you're playing sports and you have teams. Maybe you are um, doing what? What else? 
yeah. going to science and rich enrichment class and you have a group there so to so think about all those teams that maybe you don't live with them all the time but you function within them think about how what goal you achieve when you work together with those uh, people in your team so that's an interesting way to look at that but definitely families are um, is our first group that we live with and function all together okay so are you all ready yeah. everybody decorated their beautiful scraps of paper yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. We'll begin, though. So remember, hexagon. Who remembers what hexagon is? Yes. Six pointed shape. What? Six pointed shape. Yeah. Six. Six point and six. What? Corners. Six corners and points. It's the same. What else? Six. Um, sides. Right. Six sides. Six corner shape. You see. This is hexagon. Hello. Um, so if you fold your paper along the black lines, you will end up with that, right? And now take a piece of tape and tape it at the end. Go ahead. And just tape it at the end. You want to do it? Just put it on down and then tape it at the end. Very good. You want to make another one? So again, fold along the black lines. Okay. And then open it up. Name, would you like to fold another one? Okay. Let me show it to our friends how we do it. So fold it and then open it up. Okay. Now we have six sides, six corners, hexagon. Hex is six. Okay. And now you will tape it here. Okay. Very good. Beautiful. Make more. So go ahead and make as many as you have. I think each page can generate four. Like go ahead and, and make another one. And then we are going to put them all together and see why hexagon is an ideal shape. <coughs> Excuse me to construct it. By the way, what do you think keeps the honeycomb together? Tape. <laughs> well, our honeycomb. It will be held together with tape. Silly, but honey. real honeycomb? Honey. Honey. Do you think it's stuck, sticky? Yeah. Yeah, right? So here are some, how some animals in nature use what they have at hand to solve problems, right? Animals are pretty cool to look at and observe and to see how they're making, they're finding solutions to different problems. And you try to use honey as a tape or glue. I would like to because I can eat it. You wouldn't like it because you wouldn't like to do it because you don't want to waste because you'd rather eat it. Is that what you said? No, I, I, I would like to. Oh, you would like to use it as a, okay. Well, don't waste honey for glue, but it's definitely sticky. Okay, so let's tape them together. I'm like, oh, this looks more like a den. <laughs> tape them together. <laughs> So we almost done. Friends, how are you doing there? Send us a picture. I always like to see your work. So feel free to share with us. You can do it after we are done. Just send a message on our Facebook page with the image and we'll share it back with everyone else. 
always like to hear from you and to see the work that you are doing. So you're always welcome to do that. Okay. How many do we have? I think we finished all of them. Oh. By the way, um, if you watched yesterday our program, um, our friends were talking about how insects communicate with each other, right? So remember that. Do you remember what they release to communicate with each other? Yeah, I think. Uh, well, right, they release material called pheromone. Now, if they communicate with you, would that be pheromone? Or would that be something else? If it's not within the same species, within the same type of animal, that won't be pheromone, okay? Very cool. So what I started doing in front of you here is I took two sides of our hexagon and I put paper clip in between. You see that? Okay, go ahead. Let's let's add more. Let's see what's happening next. You want to help me? Let's now take this corner and add another one you see it so I put one paper clip here and then I want to thank you can you bring me more uh, paper clips sure to attach it on that end as well and you can see how our honeycomb is coming together yeah these two you see that it's pretty cool very good okay we have more mm, perfect again two paper clips right one on each side that we are connecting in this case we're connecting two sides so two paper clips Very good. Our honeycomb is growing. Five seconds. Now use your imagination to think that it's coming together and will be the shelter for our for our friends, the bees. Remember how important they are? Oh, this is fine. Uh, for mm -hmm. our survival. You know, this is, can you help me correct it to me? Yeah, that one's really good. No, it's, it's okay. It's a, no problem. It cannot be fixed. It Make sure that there are six, six sides, okay? Six sides, six corners. Hexagon. So, Liam will help you to correct it. You see? See what I'm doing? Keep adding and keep adding. And perfect. I have my own bees here that are working very hard to develop more and more hexagons. You see that? I think I ran out of paper clips. <laughs> okay. That's all for Okay, friends. That's what we created so far. Show us your honeycomb. <laughs> Somebody said that they love to see Eli and Liam. Maybe I should move. <laughs> That's Eli and Eli. Show the honeycomb. Okay, Eli has a clone of himself. <laughs> he said Eli and Eli. Okay, friends, Eli and Liam. <laughs> Great job. Well, thank you for 
making honeycomb, constructing the honeycomb with us today. And thank you for all the work and the learning that is happening out there. We will be back with you tomorrow. Be safe and have a good day. Bye. <laughs> you like to do